All right, guys, today we're going to be working on the axle on this car. So we're going to be changing the axle shaft on the 2005 Toyota Camry. This is a four-cylinder car, and uh, this is the driver's side axle. It's a short axle. All right, so to start off, what we're going to do first is we're going to remove this cotter pin right here. All right, just push it back, and you should be able to pull it out. All right like that and next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get uh, my impact gun we're gonna remove this this is number 17 bolt here and then we're gonna hammer this softly and this tie rod should pop out all right that's what we're gonna do first all right guys so I'm gonna take my 17 move that bolt and let me just get this out with the threads here I'm gonna put that somewhere safe all right guys, next, we're gonna take out this, but you cannot hit this, all right? Cause you'll damage the threads there. So you can hit right here. And uh, let me just move my camera back cause I need good leverage here. There you go guys. What this does is it breaks the grip, all right? Now we can maneuver this thing around in any angle we like, all right? So let's come on this side next. Let me set up my light here. All right guys, what we're gonna do next is, let's remove this little bolt here, right? This is uh, for the ABS cable. We don't wanna stretch that ABS cable too far. This is just for the safety of the cable so we don't break the cable. All right guys. So we have that. So this cable is loose. We can leave this alone just like that. All right guys. Next, what we'll do is, let me bring my camera to the front here. We'll remove this bolt right here, right? This is 32. So you need a 32 millimeter socket. Maybe your socket has a different size, but this is 32. There you go, all right? And this axle should move just like that. All right guys, now we're gonna go in the bottom. There's three bolts for the bolt joint. We're gonna remove those. All right guys, right down here we have three bolts. They're 17 millimeters. They're for the bolt joint. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our impact gun. Let me just come across here. We'll take one out. Two out. Three out, all right? And What we're gonna do next is, we're gonna take a small pry bar. All right, let me let me bring my camera up, all right, so we can see. All right, guys, I got the camera up, so we're gonna dismantle this little ball joint from the control arm. I'm just trying to find a good angle. All right, there you go, guys, all right. Once you take out that ball joint, as you can see down here, get the ball joint out of the way. Now, if I come over here, bring my light over also. If your axle doesn't come out, just tap it with something. And you should be able to pop the axle out just like that. And let's go back on this side now. All right, guys. And what you should be able to do is, you should be able to pull this forward and get that axle out, all right? Just like that, all right? This is the reason why we're changing this axle. It's gone, the grease is all gone. The boot is ripped, all right? And now what I'm gonna do next is, hopefully we can see this, all right? Right inside down there, I am going to take a pry bar and pry the axle out, all right? 
So it should be very simple for me to pry this out. Let me get a better pry bar and then I'm gonna come right back and I'll show you guys. All right guys, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see. Uh, let me see if I can get the camera right here. And I'll lift the camera up. So guys, I'm gonna be prying from all the way back there, right, right here. Sometimes it does take a few times for you to get the axle out of there. There you go guys, I got the axle out. I'm gonna bring it on and I'll show you guys. So we're on the opposite side. What I did was I pried the axle from there and I should be able to, uh, I still stuck a little bit, but let me go down there, pry it some more. There you go guys. So the axle is completely out. And I should be able to just lift this out of there. All right. No transmission fluid came out. He has axle seal leaking on the opposite side. I recommended him, but he doesn't want to do the axle or the seal on that side because the boot is not ripped, he said. And uh, so we got to wait for a new axle and we'll put in the axle. And uh, his seal on this side doesn't look so good, but I gave him an option already for both sides. Right, guys so we're ready to put the new axle here's the new axle all right there's the new axle and we're gonna install this into this car all right so this is i'm gonna push the axle through this side and what we're gonna do is simply gently from here we're gonna align the axle just don't damage the seal in there so once you feel you caught the teeth, what you're gonna do next is, let me get a hammer here. All right, once you catch the teeth, what you're gonna do simply is, let me set up my camera right here. You're gonna take a, this threads, if you hit them, they're gonna get damaged, but if you take a rubber hammer, you could. There you go, the axle goes right in, guys. You don't have to worry about anything, all right? There you go, it's nice and flush. All right, guys, so what I'll do next is, I'm gonna switch my camera to this side. We're gonna put the axle into this hub first. So right on this side, we're gonna push this axle in. It comes with a new bolt. We'll take that off. So we're gonna twist this a little bit. We're gonna yank this spindle like before without even looking All right so the axle should come out through this end right here hopefully you can see that right here all right there you go all right guys so next what we'll do is we'll go back on this side now and i'm gonna pause the camera and we're gonna bring the camera down all right guys, next step is we're gonna put that ball joint in there. So we're gonna need our pry bar. And what I'll do is I'll push this down a little bit. So I'll get my pry bar in there and we'll take this ball joint bolt. We'll drop it in there. And once you drop it in there, you can easily squeeze this down. And then you can catch the two nuts. One. Two. And you got two options here now. Either you can uh, snug these bolts and then catch this one or just squeeze it down. And get that bolt all right just like that all right guys so let me get my tools and i'm gonna tighten those and after all right 
There you go, those are tight. And we're gonna come back up. We're gonna record the other side now. What we'll do next is, we'll put this tie rod in. And the number 17 goes from the bottom. Take your impact gun and put your hand on the top. Make sure you line the little hole for the cotter pin. I'll put that in later. All right guys, so next, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna put this axle bolt in. There you go guys. Next, don't forget to put the number 10. You're gonna tighten that and I'll put the cotter pin into the tie rod. Alright guys, and subscribe to my channel please. And that's how you do an axle on an 05 Toyota Camry. This is a four-cylinder. Last thing you wanna do is you wanna punch this in. This is gonna lock the axle in place. If you forget that, you can unwind. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye.